Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks for joining me on my website or YouTube channel, wherever you're watching. Thank you. Today I'm participating in the Honeybee Stamps Hello Summer blog hop and I thought I would show you all a few fun ways to use the new Fine Apple stamp set along with the perfect sentiment stamps and honey cuts. I always think it's better to see the stamps in action. So the first thing I'm doing is to get the process started is to stamp the sentiments and heat emboss them. So two of the sentiments I'm going to stamp with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink and heat emboss those with clear embossing powder. The others I'm stamping using VersaFine Claire Cheerful ink and I'm going to heat emboss those with gold embossing powder. Now I just use that yellow ink with the gold embossing powder so if there's any areas missed you won't notice them as much. A few tips I'm going to share with you on heat embossing. Always use anti-static powder before stamping. Always do a detailed cleanup after you cover the stamped sentiment or image with embossing powder. And of course, use a preheated heat tool. So now that we have the sentiments ready, we're going to lay our panels into the misty and center those up. We're going to go ahead and center our pineapple up on that card panel and lift it with the lid of the misty. Now off screen, I ran that perfect sentiments coordinating honey cuts through the die cut machine with masking paper. I'm going to cover up the sentiment with that masking paper. So I'm ready to start stamping and I'm going to be using VersaFine Claire inks on this card. Now this card is going to get a rainbow of pineapples. So I'm using the verdant cheerful, summertime, blue bell, purple delight, warm breeze, and tulip red. Obviously not in that order. So to, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the pineapples across the panel and I'm overlapping each one as I stamp them so that I can get all my colors across the panel. Now I created all the cards by doing this repeat stamping like you see me doing here. I love that I was able to use that same process for all the cards, but by simply changing something, whether that was the ink color, the position of the stamped pineapple, or the number of times I stamped it, each card has its own vibe to it. Now on this card, I wanted to do an ombre with reds and pinks, and then I'm going to finish it off with a gold pineapple on the end. So I'm using Memento Lux inks in the colors Love Letter, Rosebud, and Angel Pink, and then I'm going to come in with Pink Shimmer and Golden Glitz inks there on the end. Okay, moving on to the next panel, I've used VersaFine Claire Nocturne, Morning Mist, and Cheerful inks. I'm only stamping three pineapples on this one. Let's talk about the crown of each of the pineapples. I used an acrylic block, very easy to line these up, and I stamped the crown in the same color as the pineapples on all the cards, with the exception of the last card that I'm getting ready to share with you. Now for the last card, I wanted a different vibe for this one. I wanted it to have more of a tropical feel to it or a more traditional pineapple feel to it, I guess you could say. So I'm using Distress Oxides in the colors Scattered Straw and Bundled Sage. I'm using an uh, ink dauber to apply the ink to the stamp because I want that ink to be light and I knew that ink dauber would give me the lightest application. So again, with the repeat stamping, now I'm going to go ahead and stamp all the crowns using that bundled sage ink. If you haven't checked out the new release from Honeybee Stamps, I highly recommend you check it out. They have some amazing summertime goodies in this release. I absolutely love it. Okay, so now that we have our panel stamped, I just trim them down so that I can go ahead and get those on a card. Two of the cards, I'm actually going to be using some pattern paper with them. So I've used pattern paper from the Back to Basics paper pad and also the new Beach Vibes paper pad from Honeybee. And I'm just centering those uh, trimmed pan pattern paper on the panels of my card with my tape gun. Get my thoughts together here. Once I have the pattern paper centered on the A2 cards, 
I'm going to add mounting foam to the back of these stamped panels and go ahead and center those over the pattern paper. Now for the other cards, all I did was add the tape from my tape gun <laughs> to the back of the panels and just added them directly to the card base. So I thought, well, I really want to add something more to these. So I'm going to be using the little gem stickers from Honeybee Stamps. I am quickly becoming addicted to these little gem stickers. I love these things. They add such a really neat touch to your card and it's not so much. They're, they're tiny and it's just enough. I love them. So these cards, um, they're so easy and they're so fun. And I found as I was working on one card, I would have another design pop into my head. So the possibilities are endless with this repeat stamping. Just change the colors or change the position that you, where you stamp the image or how many you stamp, you know, and you'll have a completely different look. You can change the color that you stamp your sentiment in. And there's so many things you can do just to change the look up. It's, they're so simple though. I absolutely love them. So let me know what you think about the cards in the comments below. I appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Please feel free to share these videos with your crafty friends. Now for more information about the products used in the video, check out the Honeybee Stamps website. And thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing day.